What's up guys, Frubs here, and today, oh, wonderful. Today we are doing the Super Bell Cup in 50cc. If this loads. Hopefully. There it goes. Alright. We will be doing the Super Bell Cup in 50cc. So it's Tokyo Blur, Shroom Ridge, Sky Garden, and Ninja Hideaway. As the time of me recording this, the DLC's been out for about two weeks now, so not super long, but enough time for people to get used to the tracks. They're still pretty fun, I enjoy them. Again, 50 and 100 is going to take a long time, but that's okay. I do like how Tokyo Blur has three different routes each time, and Paradise Promenade only has one. I mean, I guess one time you can go under the, uh, the Eiffel Tower, and the other time you can go around it, but that shortcut's just a lot faster. I've heard people saying that you need a mushroom to do it, but I've never needed a mushroom to do it. So. Ugh, this is going to take a while. What I do notice is that I tend to lap people, which is okay, I guess. I mean, Baby Peach is right up ahead. Yep, there she is. Yeah, I just lap Baby Peach. Did that hit? I think that hit Baby Peach. Or no, it might have broken something. Like, how does, like, I don't even think, like, a baby could lose. Like, look how slow they're going. I don't understand it. But then in, like, 200, it's broken. Like, you can't beat them. Oh, my God. So many boos. I'm excited. That's the new Kirby game that just downloaded. I know you can't really see it, but I'm really excited to play that. I don't think I'm going to be streaming it. I mean, maybe... But I'll probably do one playthrough through it and then play what I'm probably going to do is make a separate playthrough account and this will be my personal account so I can do like whatever I want with it and then have my YouTube account type deal. And then just kind of play all the games that I have. Um, yeah. I don't know yet. We'll see. This course is really fun on 200. It's not quite made for it, but almost. Ooh, I'm gonna make that. Ooh, that was my controller acting up. I hate when you're shrunk in 50cc, because then you can't drift. I mean, yeah, you can take the turns really, really tight, but you can't drift, which is really annoying. 
Oh, there's a blue shell. I should try to get a super horn. Super horn, nope. That is okay. between these two. Whoa! Oh, you can drift. Wow. Okay, it just takes a while. In 200, you can, like, drift immediately. And that's what I'm used to. I'm about to overlap someone. It's not Baby Peach. Who is it? It was, uh, Lemmy. There's Baby Peach. I will overlap you. Cool. I'm going to zoom this out just a hair. There we go. That looks better. All right. Time for Sky Garden. I've heard a lot of people complain about this one, that it's not really the same to the original. And I get why it's not. It's an old course. I mean, think about, like, Cheeseland or Riven Road. Nobody's complaining about those. So, you know, I just don't. Also, that mushroom gives me proof that Mushroom Gorge is going to come back. So, Mushroom Gorge should really come back. Also, they should have slanted this part like, like they did in Mario Stadium and made it anti-gravity. That would have been a lot cooler. It made this whole section like Mario Stadium. I don't even know why I bother looking behind. I have such a lead. I could like do circles in the finish line and still get first. I remember first playing these and the blooper came, came around. <laughs> the blooper was effective then. But but sad, now that we've played these before, uh, doesn't do much. Those leaves, oh, I'm not going to make that. Those leaves are really hard to trick off of. Also, the bottom of that mushroom is really nicely designed for some reason. And whoever gets that coin, I feel bad for them. Not like I wanted it. Oh, I should have kept the... Should have kept the banana out. Or the coin, not the banana. Should've given someone else a coin. All right. Time for Ninja Head. This one's actually really, really fun. I hate it being in tour first and it having bad 
not as good graphical design. If they had this in like Mario Kart 8 first, imagine how beautiful, more beautiful this course would look. Oh, I didn't realize you could trick off of that. I know you could jump off of it, I didn't realize you could trick. No, uh, I want to bet. I also did not realize you could trick off the back side of that. See, and like, if the blooper cover covers your whole screen, screen except for a corner, which I've had happen to me in Mario Kart Wii once, it's actually effective, but when it only does one bloop like that, it's not that effective. That's the only problem with taking that. Put a coin on a banana right there. I never seem to get an item off that. Oh, there's a blue shell coming. Alright. Give me something. Please. Super horn. No. At least I can get back up to eight points. I love timing to get that trick off of that last roof into the finish line. It's really hard to do. I've only done it twice. All right, well, that was 50cc, very slow. And uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time when we do 100cc. Bye.